just outstanding. And now there's a bull and a cow on the road. And they're the biggest things I've ever seen. This is insane. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufo, and you're watching Animal Logic. We've just been driving through the amazing mountains in Jasper and we found a moose on the far side of this field. We're gonna try and get a better look. But we don't wanna to get too close. These are actually one of Canada's most dangerous animals and you wanna give them as much space as possible. And trust me, they are much more massive than you can ever imagine. If you think you know how big a moose is, think again. Oh yeah, that's a moose. Oh, wow. Despite not having antlers, we know that this one is a male, because the males do lose their antlers in the winter, making this moose an actual bullwinkle. Ah, the moose is peeing. <laughs> Have you ever seen a moose squat for a pee? Because I'm seeing that right now. Look at me just dead straight in the eye. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. All right, boss, it's all you. Oh, it's smelly. You smell that? This, oh. This collection of moose antlers you see here around me are all from the same individual. It's actually the moose that's standing right in front of me. Every single year, moose will grow a new set of antlers. And these antlers, as they're growing, are covered by a really nice soft velvet. All of that is fed by blood vessels that run all the way through and over these antlers. This moose antler is a really good example of the velvet because not all of the velvet has fallen off of these antlers. It's so soft. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my goodness. So this helps insulate them from the cold while they're growing. These antlers grow extremely fast. They only have about six to eight months to reach full size before they end up dropping off of their head. That happens after the rutting season because they need these to be in full form when it comes time to mate in the fall. Antlers might look kind of sterile and lifeless, but when you take a look at a recently dropped set, you can see just how well these are fed by the whole animal's system. The shape and size of a moose buck's antlers is extremely tied to the moose buck's level of testosterone. As the moose buck is growing, it'll start producing more testosterone. And so every single year, the new pair of antlers that it creates are going to be bigger and bigger. That is, until it reaches its prime. After it reaches its prime, those antlers are going to start getting smaller and smaller because it's producing less and less testosterone. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get up close to a moose buck. See if he plays nice. Now I can tell that this moose is in its prime because it has beautiful big pomade antlers. As they grow older and past their prime, they won't be as pomade anymore and they'll be more branching. And this male's got a really big dewlap under its chin, which is also a great sign of sexual virility and a great signal for the ladies. <laughs> Just joining this moose for his lunch right now being extremely tolerant. It's December now and just at the end of the rutting season for these moose. I can tell that these antlers on this male are not going to last much longer because they've already lost all of that beautiful fuzzy velvet that helps insulate them. And this means that all the blood vessels that usually feed that velvet have essentially wasted away and it has no more use for that. At this point, they're nothing but dead weight for the winter and it needs those resources to stay warm. In any amount of days or maybe the next week or so, it's probably going to be shedding those antlers. Once the worst of the winter passes, it can start developing new antlers for next year. Grow big, little guy. I mean, not so little guy. He's pretty gigantic. 
This behemoth behind me isn't even done growing at three years old. He's gonna keep growing taller and bigger and heavier, and with a more impressive antler set every year until he's at his prime. His prime is probably around seven years old. Buddy, your antlers are so beautiful, and I know that next year they're gonna grow even bigger along with the rest of you. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Today I saw the first moose of my entire life, but it was from pretty far away, across the field. And now, as we're leaving at the end of the day, the sun is setting and we're all pretty tired and done for the day. We got back into our car and these two beauties are right there. Right behind me, we've got two members of the largest species of the deer family. These are moose. We've got a mother cow and her calf. This calf is looking pretty big, so she's probably not gonna stick around with mom for very much longer. What a good mother, she's looking both ways before crossing with her calf. Just so special to get to see not one, but two moose. I've always wanted to see a moose. Well, I feel like the animal logic Cross Canada trip wouldn't be complete without seeing a moose. Instead, we get two. I grew up in, in northern Quebec in an area that was fairly forested and woodsy. It was moose territory for sure, but sadly I just was never lucky enough to find one. Sometimes it's all luck, you know? And this, this beside me is Dylan. The wild Dylan, one of a kind. Every time I think I know how big a moose is, I'm wrong. Very wrong. You think that a moose is roughly horse size? Just at least double that, because it's, it's a lot more. Just outstanding. Look at those little moose butts. So cute. As always, you need to respect an animal's space and give them as much distance as they could possibly want, and then some. I'm so glad we made it out here. This is insane. We just saw a mother and her calf, and now there's a bull and a cow on the road. And they're the biggest things I've ever seen. This is insane, guys. I've never seen a moose in my life. And now I've seen five in one day? Jasper, you are beautiful. Look at these guys, can you see that? Right in the middle of the road and licking the ground. The one thing that draws these giant moose out onto the roads like this is to lick salt. Because salt is a very important part of any ungulate's diet. Here we go. Oh my god. <gasps> what? How is this possible? This is seven moose. No way. This one's even bigger than the last bull. No more than, what would it be? Like less than a kilometer down, there's another pair. Two more. It's just unbelievable. Do we have moose insurance? Yeah, we have like the full insurance for Oh. This time it's a mother and her calf. So we found two mothers with calves and then a mating couple. Did I say that I saw seven moose? Make that nine. We've got another mother and calf right in front of our vehicle. Licking that salt off the road. This is just ridiculous. It's tough to see them in the dark, so you need to keep those high beams on. Out here, it's all that's gonna save ya. Look at her little tongue go. I mean, little. It's actually a freaking massive tongue. Guys, I can't get over it. This is probably the most Canadian day ever. And um, maybe I'll just start celebrating Canada Day on October 15th. Yeah. Why not? Thanks, Moose. So what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. Take care.